Hey guys, so I'm going to do a get ready with me today. I've had quite a lot of people ask for this, but I'm going to be fully honest right now. I have no idea what I'm doing. This is how I like to do things, and half the time I don't even do this. Sometimes I just get up and just go out. Like I won't bother straightening my hair or curling my hair or doing in my makeup or anything like that. Quite a lot of the time I just like to keep it natural. But this is if I was going out, I had extra time to get ready and get sorted. But as I said, I'm not a professional. I have no idea what I'm doing. So probably don't copy me because I'm just making it up as I go along half the time. But this is what works for me. This is how I like it. So let's go with it. What I'll start off by doing is just putting George up in my hair. So I washed my hair yesterday, but I always feel like dry shampoo just kind of brings it more back to life. So I'll just put some in there. And the dry, shampoos I, dry shampoo I use is the Batiste Instant Hair Refresh Dry Shampoo, the tropical one. I think I got it like saying so it's like a pound. It's really good though. So just kind of brush that through a bit. So it's supposed to like... Put it in your hands first and then brush it through. That's what I'm doing. I always have trouble with my parting in the morning, like it's never right. If you're parting, you really should use like a comb, but I never do. Right, and then after that, I will straighten my hair. If I've got plenty of time and I'm doing it for a certain reason, then I'll segment it off to straighten it. But if it's just for a daily thing, if it's just in the morning, then I'll just go through and just do it all in one. Normally, if I am going out or I've got plans the next day, what I'll do is I'll uh, straighten my hair on a night and then I'll just go through it really quickly in the morning, the straighteners. But yeah, I'm not doing this time. When I do this, I like to only get the top section of my hair. That's mainly because I don't like putting my whole head of hair up. I don't like doing that because it gives me a bad headache. So I like to just get a top section of hair. This is just to get it all out of my face so I can see what I'm doing. The top layer of my hair up. I normally like wash my face beforehand, but I don't really have a sink here. So like I've done this off camera. Or I'll just use like a wet wipe. And then I'm using my simple... Sensitive Skin Experts Hydra Hydrating Light Moisturiser, this one here. I'm using that and I'm moisturising my face with it. I really like this one because it's good for like, sensitive skin, which I've got extremely sensitive skin. So I'm just going to put this all over my face. So for the foundation that I use, it's the L'Oreal Paris True Match and the shade is Golden Beige. But normally I would use my Beauty Blender for this, but... I have no idea where it is right now, so I'm just going to use this brush. I'm pretty sure this brush, I just got it from Wilco's. Uh, so it looks quite bad right now because I haven't blended it in yet. But that's after I've applied it. And now I'm going to grab a sponge and blend this in. So it looks quite bad right now because I haven't blended it in yet. But that's after I've applied it, and now I'm going to grab a sponge and blend this in. So after all that, finding my beauty blender when I was trying to look for a sponge. But I'm just going to start to blend this in a bit. Pretty much blended everything in there, so I'm now going to go ahead with my concealer. So at the moment I've been using the Lasting Perfection Ultimate Wear Concealer. This one here. So... this under my eyes you can't really see on camera as well but i have really bad under eye bags and i just put in all the areas i feel like i need it i'm just gonna blend all this in so with my eyebrows i use this rc1 model zone brush it's a concealer brush but i use it anyway and then i use this nude Basics from Primark eyeshadow, eyeshadow palette. And I use this light brown here. And I just gently tap it off all the excess. I gently just go over them there just to fill them in a little bit, but I don't want to go too much because it makes me look stupid. Quite a lot of people can pull it off, but I 
definitely can. So I'm just go over the edges, just fill in the centers. Then use the curling top coat mascara from False Lashes the Concentrate. I got this in the Super Drug, I think. I don't then just use this to kind of define my lashes a little bit. So with that, I've just done one coat there. I like to do like multiple thin coats and I try to do it like beforehand because I feel like that's some things most likely to go wrong with me because I've got such shaky hands. I'm so about that kind of thing. You're going to hate me for the order I'm doing things in. But I've got this brush box here that I got from B&M. It was £7 and it's really good. I really like it because you get a range of brushes and I think they're super cute. So I've got this one here. I'm going to use it from the Sculpt and Glow, Glow Model Zone palette and this white here which I'm absolutely in love with. So I'm just going to take a couple of gentle dabs. This is just my highlight here and I'm absolutely in love with it. I think it gives a really nice gentle subtle glow. It's quite harsh on camera but it's really really gentle in person. I can never do this side. I can always do this side, but I can never do the other side. I'm just trying to blend it out a bit now, guys. My palette there. So, I use this bottom shade here. I'm going to go back to the brush that I used for my highlight. Let's clean it up a little bit. I always do this, then I end up with a really shiny hand. First, take a small dab. I'm just trying to apply it there, like, kind of like sitting on and a little bit under my cheekbones. So I'm just trying to kind of like add more definition to my face here. The other sides of my nose is a bit. So I'm trying to just define all my face. So I'm doing the tops of my forehead. And then like where my jaw is. And then I'm just going to keep building this up. More blending it in and building it up. Then I'm going to get my highlight out again. The same one that I used as before with the same brush. I'm just going to swipe this across my forehead a bit. Just in there. On the end of my nose, just a small side of my chin. I then have this Stay Matte Rimmel palette here. It's not really a palette, but you know what I mean. And then it's my thicker brush. Just go over the areas that I haven't really done anything with. So the sides of my nose and the ridge. To just kind of like make it all kind of blend in a little bit better. So now guys I'm going to go ahead and do my second coat of mascara now. Using the same as one as before. I just find it difficult like doing things in the camera because I like to do things in like an up close mirror. But then you guys can't see what I'm doing when I've got my mirror out. So for my eyes, I'm using the Revolution palette again. This is—I don't actually say which one this is. The Reload Red Alert. That might be the name. I'm not sure. And I got this little brush from Superdrug. It's a Studio London brush. And I want to go quite subtle with it, but I also want to make, you know, sure that I've actually done something. So, firstly, I'm going to go for this shade from the Reload Marvelous Mattes. Revolution again, but I'm going to go for this shade first. Like I said, the other palette is one that I'm going to be using mostly, but this one's just going to start me off. So I'm just trying to just put this all over my eyelid. And I'm just going to go 
increase there. I try not to make mine go too high up because I don't really like that for me. Just kind of build the colour up a little bit. See the one on the top right here, I'm just going to go for that colour there. I'm going to try and make it quite, you know, not too much. Just blend it in the top right hand corner. But honestly, if I could do like a makeup tutorial, like at all really, because this is just kind of me just kind of doing my makeup really badly to be honest guys, but if I could do one without pulling faces, that'd just be great. So I'm just going to keep building the colour. And then I'm just going to probably leave it at that so it's quite natural, just a little pink glow. But then what I'm going to do is go back to the original palette. The first one that I used, this one here. Use the first colour again and just go lightly under there. This is my Model Zone Cheap Glaze palette. Here, I'm going to be using this one. The same brush again. I'm just going to do the inner corners of my eye with it. Just kind of blend it into the rest of the eye. And blend it into the corner there. So I'm trying to make sure I blend it into the rest of the eye, but then have it come in as if it's coming out of the corner of my eye. I'm trying to make it as equal as I can, which I am terrible at. That'll be fine for that. So as you can see it's really subtle but it does make an impact and then so i'm now taking my hair back down which will be a nightmare and i'll look like a lion find my parting so i'm just going to get my comb out for my parting so what i like to do is try and brush it all forwards and brush it all back in one line I'm just kind of grab my hair and do this so that it kind of makes its own little parting and then I just even it up a little bit well as I said before this is something I'm terrible at doing and I'm very lazy with so please don't take my advice so I'm brushing all my hair through try not to brush my face which is what I always end up doing and then normally I'll go over it again with the hair straighteners, but I'm not going to actually bother today. Because um, I'm not that bothered about it being like, particularly straight. To finish everything off, I'm going to go back to this brush, this haunted one. And I'm just going to go back to my contour to start with and just do one. Swipe there. And one swipe there. Just kind of finish it all off. I'm just going to go every over everything one more time. Just kind of like a finishing touch to it all. Just kind of define it all. Come back to my highlight. Um, the reason I love using highlights is I like. I think it looks really pretty, really elegant, really sparkly. I'm just obsessed. So this is more of an up close for you guys. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video and let me know what you think. Let me know if any other looks that you'd like me to do or any looks that you like doing. As I said, I'm not a professional. I have no idea what I'm doing, but this is just what I like to do. So thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.